Hi, this message has been sent to you on behalf of Omi TV 24 TV. We decided to ask our fellow Afghans what they would like to say to Zalmay Khalilzad. This is what they have to say. My name is Manoz Alim and I will be reading the comments to you. Shakilo Mujaddidi says, criminal courts need to hold him for treason and be imprisoned. And Samo Sameh says, Khalilzad, you sold yourself to the U.S. and you are so cruel that by coming into agreement with the Taliban, you destroyed your country and your people's lives. Babrak Khurasani says, Khalilzad must be taken to court because of his dark ideas and mistakes. Mari Ahmadi says, Khalilzad must be taken to Guantanamo. He destroyed the lives of over 37 million people and took the dreams and freedom of the youth. How does he sleep at night? Shukriya Rat says, for years you were far from your country and people. You introduced yourself as the specialist of Afghanistan to the US leaders. With your wrong ideas and little to no experience, you destroyed your country. Tabassum Omid says the destruction and the shame of the U.S. is on you. You must be punished. Makaya Kimi says Afghan's biggest and worst enemy is you. Mariam says you need to be taken to court. Jawed Mujaddidi says your goal was to destroy your country and our people's lives. Maybe you should get rewarded by the U.S. Farad Kishawar says America must take Khalilzad to court since he betrayed Afghanistan and the U.S. and help the Taliban. Zainab Rizoi says America must take Khalilzad to court. Anwar Zarvari says, all of the misery in our country is because of the, this disgusting person. He must be taken to court. Jamila Najim says, today, his ashamed face shows how much he has done to the people of Afghanistan and how much he's done, how many terrible things he's done. He betrayed our people and our country, which is unforgettable. Farooq Ahmadi says, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't think of something to say to you because you are such a disgusting person and you betrayed your motherland. Nasir Von Waziri says, Khalizad betrayed Afghanistan and the biggest power of the world, the U.S. Dr. Fatima Safi says, you are the reason for the misery in our country. Salim Sahil says, the enemy of humanity. Safiullah Naimi says, this person is who made the world's superpower ashamed in history. And Samo Same says, I'm calling on the people of the US. What do you think? A man who destroyed his own country and his people's lives and is the, his country's villain is going to do to help your country. Don't trust this villain. Said Mohsinin says, shame on you Khalilzad. You sold your country. You need to be taken to court. Nawid Ahmad says, Khalilzad sold our country. What he has done is unforgettable and unforgivable. Millions of innocent Afghans have to pay for what he has done. He needs to be punished. But who will punish him? Because everyone agrees with him. Nadir Wadid says, You are the reason of our misery. Laila Akbari says, You not only betrayed your country, but the U.S. You need to spend the rest of your life in the Guantanamo jail. Hasai Kadimi says you are the cruelest person in history. If the U.S. won't question you and demand answers from you, God will. Sadai Melat says he did the biggest betrayal to the people of Afghanistan. He turned off the half litten light of our people. He must be taken to court. Muhammad Sarwar Nuzay says, hate is felt in the hearts of people when they see his face. We received hundreds of comments and these are just a few of them. So lots of people had lots to say about you Khalilzad. I want to 
tell you something as well and I hope that you listen to me very carefully because this is something I've wanted to say to you for a really long time. You are a disgusting person and you are a villain. I was born and raised in Canada, but I'm Afghan and I'm proud of being Afghan. And I just can't believe that you were able to destroy your country so easily and you don't even regret it. How do you sleep at night? How do you walk across the street? How do people not scream at you and yell at you and tell you that you are a disgusting person because you destroyed your own country? You must be ashamed of what you've done. I don't know how you look at yourself in the mirror and are proud of who you are. If I were you, I'd just stay in a room and quarantine myself for the rest of my life because of what I've done. How could you be so cruel and so mean and disgusting? This is all I have to say. You can't make up your not mind now because our country is in its worst state ever. The Taliban are destroying our country day by day and our people's lives are just becoming worse and worse. Be ashamed for what you've done. You may not be punished for what you're doing right now in this world, but soon you are going to be punished by God because God isn't going to leave you like this. Thank you.